Elon Musk has been touting Tesla Battery Day for months now, and it's finally here today. So you may also be asking, what's Battery Day? Well, it's actually part of this year's annual shareholders presentation, but the Battery Day part comes from some production announcements Tesla is expected to make. Elon Musk said they will blow your mind. So what could it be? Well, the goal of EV batteries is to make them cheaper, lighter, and to last longer, with the longest charge for a commercial model currently lasting at about 300 miles-ish. One rumor has Tesla unveiling a new biscuit tin battery, which is so named because image leaks have it looking like a tin of biscuits. The advantage of the design could mean lower cost, higher capacity, and both of those are good things. There will also probably be more talk about gigafactories as far as improving the ability to mass produce them. But if he's going to blow our minds, then we could see something about the million mile battery, which would in theory be a battery that would have a lifespan of a million miles. This would be something that could reduce the cost enough to where electric vehicles could be sold at competitive prices to gas vehicles. And that's a big turning point. Tesla may also announce the formation of an electric utility to go along with their charging stations. So the broadcast is at 1.30 p.m. Pacific, and you can watch it right here. Read more about it at digitaltrends.com. As TikTok is a wedding word on approval of its tech partnership with Oracle and Walmart. It's released a transparency report that details some of its activities. So according to the report, TikTok had to take down 104 million videos in violations of its policies from January to June of this year alone, which is double what it took down in the six months prior. TikTok is battling spam and misinformation and hate speech and violent content all thrown in there. They did say that the 104 million videos represents only 1% of what was uploaded and that 96% of them were caught before being reported. They also said they received 200 26 information requests from law enforcement agencies in the U.S. and complied with 85% of them. They also said they proposed a co coalition with nine other social media and content platforms to help battle hate speech and harmful content. The idea is a security person from each organization would meet and share information. All social media platforms are battling this kind of stuff, but you can read more about TikTok's efforts at digitaltrends.com. Blue Origin is launching another test of its new Shepard rocket on Thursday, this time with a few firsts. Blue Origin is, of course, founded by Jeff Bezos, and the new Shepard rockets are designed to take astronauts and payloads into space and even the moon. The rockets are also designed to be reusable. This will be the seventh time this particular one has been used. The test will be carrying 12 different payloads to space and back, and for the first time, they'll be attached to the outside of the rocket instead of inside. Blue Origin believes this will open up the possibilities for new high-altitude and space experiments with equipment and sensors actually getting real-time data from the environment. One of the pieces of equipment on the test flight will be a lunar landing sensor module that would also be able to read the service environment it's approaching and land within 100 meters of a designated location. This is something that NASA could use in its Artemis program that will bring two people back to the moon in 2024. Space competition is always great, so check out the details of this launch at digitaltrends.com. And a real-life Gundam robot is looming over the Gundam factory in Yokohama, Japan, and according to a newly released video, it's now fully movable. So this is all part of an amusement park that's been planned for years in Japan, but was delayed because of the pandemic. And for those that don't know, the Gundam is part of Japanese science fiction and anime culture, and the franchise has made billions of dollars in TV shows, movies, and merchandise, so it makes sense that it would get its own amusement park. The full-scale robot stands at 59 feet tall and weighs about 25 metric tons. Now, this video is speeded up a little bit, but still, it showcases some of the abilities of it. It's built with a complete skeleton, can move everything from its arms and legs to its fingers and even its eyes, which is not terrifying at all. It was even blessed by Shinto priests when they attached the head. So the park is scheduled to now open in October. Perhaps the robot apocalypse is on the docket for 2021. You can read more about this at digitaltrends.com. That's totally not scary. All right.